Coming up on the Globe Sports Corner, we'll look at the men's tennis team and get their thoughts on the season. Justin Crew joins Allison Priggy in the studio to talk about their upcoming match this Saturday. And Lucas Bontrager joins us as he looks back on his performance against IU Northwest. All that is coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. Welcome to another episode of the Globe Sports Corner. I'm Zachariah Begley. The men's tennis team has a very successful year last season, only to come up short in the conference semifinals. This season, they're looking to use their loss to fuel them to a championship. Tanner Camp has more on the story. The Goshen College men's tennis team is nearing the end of regular season play. After losing in the Crossroads semifinals to Marion last year, the team is looking to make a deep run into the tournament. The team is 5-5 five five overall and 3-3 three and three in the Crossroads League, with the season winding down fast. Director of Tennis Evan Atkinson looks back on the bumpy start that the team went through to begin the season. This year has been interesting, I'll say that. Uh, came into our camp with some injuries that were kind of lingering. I felt like our practice sessions weren't really as fulfilling as we'd like them to be, so we're kind of growing into our season. We're still fighting off some of those injuries. Uh, we're competing in all of our matches but we haven't won the big ones that we've needed to. So, so tomorrow's a big one against Huntington and, and hopefully from here on, we will kind of hit our stride. I, I like where we're headed, especially on the doubles path. Uh, I think we're doing a lot better there than we were earlier in the season. So now it's just taking care of business and, and winning the matches that I think we're capable of. Evan Beck, a senior tennis player for the team, mentions how strong he thinks the team is in his final year as a Maple Leaf. Um, I th certainly think just in terms of depth at the top of our lineup, um, we're definitely very, very strong. The conference this year is probably the strongest it's ever been, um, in, in my opinion. Um, but I would just say, yeah, the sheer talent that we have at our top four positions is, is, uh, is pretty cool to see. While injuries have been a problem, Atkinson still sees the high talent and potential that his team can achieve throughout the rest of the season. I think our fitness in general is a priority on this team. Obviously, we've dealt with uh, some injuries, like I've, like I've stated before. But, but I think um, this year our talent is very high. I think we get better every single match, and uh, we have the potential to be the most talented team that I've had in these four years. Beck has always been a competitive player, but this season he wants to focus more on enjoying the matches and savoring each moment as the season ends. Um, my main focus was um, just trying to play with some, with some joy and just, uh, just really enjoy it. Sometimes um, in the past I've gotten a little hung up on, on wins and losses, but here you know, it's just an opportunity just to come out and hit some balls and you know, just even when it's not going well, just have the joy that you know, you're out here and you're just, just playing tennis. While Evan may be graduating, Wesley, Evan's brother and freshman at Goshen, will be the next Beck to come into the tennis program as Evan teaches him what it's like to be a part of Maple Leaf Tennis. Um, just doing everything the right way, taking care of your body, um, being a leader is a big thing just in, in the way that you conduct yourself on the court um, and in the classroom. Um, and so I'm excited to see what, uh, what he can do. Both Atkinson and Beck agree that the goal is to win the conference championship, but it will take small steps throughout the season to accomplish this goal. Our goal is to win the league. Um, last year we finished third. Uh, I think uh, everybody being a year older plus getting a new player in at the top, a guy who was uh, not able to play for us last year but came in and played one singles for us this year speaks, speaks highly because everybody else would be pushed down and you'd think that'd be a stronger team. Uh, so our goal is to win the league. Well, the way we're, we're gonna have to play well, so that's, that's our, our first, um, our first goal is that we, we don't look ahead, so we still have some tough matches against uh, Huntington tomorrow is a big one, um, and then we just need to finish out the rest of the conference slate. Um, and so I would say it's just it's, uh, it's baby steps, right? You focus on one match at a time, one game at a time, one point at a time. For Globe Sports, I'm Tanner Camp. The team is currently in sixth place in the Crossroads League, so best luck to them and the rest of their season. When we come back, Alice and Priggy will be with Justin Crew to look ahead at their match on Saturday. That's up next on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen College students enjoy an amazing success record, and we have some impressive numbers to prove it. But stories of our graduates say even more, like developing a breakthrough antiviral drug for HIV AIDS, writing number one hits, being named one of Time Magazine's most influential people in the world for cancer research, 
and enjoying a broadcast career right out of college. They all started with a real world education on a campus that makes everyone feel at home. See how the numbers add up and schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. I'm Allison Priggy, and to my left, I'm with Justin Crew, head coach for the Goshen College women's soccer team. Coach, thanks for coming down to the studio today. Yeah, absolutely. Excited to be here. So uh, you're in your second season here at Goshen College, and how are you feeling about the team this year and their mindset coming into the season? Yeah, I'm feeling really good about it. You know, I think we had a good mindset with the new players we had coming in and the returners. Uh, everyone's working hard and, and excited about what's happened so far in the season and, and where we're headed. So really excited about it. And the team's off to a really good start going 4-2 uh, and two in your first six matches. So uh, what are your thoughts about uh, the team's play so far this season and how they're looking going into conference play? Yeah, so far, I mean, I think it's, it's, it's a process. Uh, like you said, we're 4-2. and two. The play's been pretty good. Um, um, I think we're progressing well. We're working hard. We're working on the things that we're trying to get accomplished as far as how the style we want to play. Um, so I'm real happy with the progress of the team so far. And then this Saturday you guys play Indiana Tech at home, and it'll be your second annual Go for the Goal match. Can you yeah. tell us more uh, about that? Yeah, I'm real excited about that. You know, we... Um, we do this goal for goals for pediatric cancer, specifically pediatric brain cancer. Um, we did it last year and we raised a little over $800. Um, and so we're hoping to raise a, a little over 1000 this year, hopefully a minimum of 1000 this year. I didn't have pediatric brain cancer, but I'm a 22-year cancer survivor. So it's something that's, that's um, dear to my heart. And so I'm just excited, hopefully, that we can give back to the community and give back to the young people that are going through some struggles. So we're real excited about it. Um, we're going to do a lot of different things at the game for the fans and for um, hopefully for the people in the community and, and hopefully get a good win. So we're real excited about it for sure. That's awesome. And then, you know, we talked about your guys' success so far in your first six matches. Um, the Crossroads League is always a tough league every year, especially in women's soccer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are some things that you guys are doing or have done so far this season that you feel like is separating you from other teams in the league uh, for you guys to find some success there? Um, you know, that's a good question. You know, I think, we're, I think we're, we're really working hard. I think we're staying to the process. I talk a lot about just sticking to our process and just figuring out and, and working with what we want to do. It is a very tough league. Um, we have six teams that are ranked within the top 30 in the country. Um, so we got a challenge ahead of us, and, and we love that challenge. But um, we're just working hard to stick into our process. You know, we're not really focusing too much on, on the other teams, per se. Just focus on us and what we want to get accomplished. Coach, thanks for joining us yeah, today. It's welcome. always a pleasure. And when we come back, I will be with Lucas Bontrager to look at his performance against IU Northwest. That's coming up here on the Globe Sports Corner. the best college radio station in the nation. It's not New York City or Chicago, it's Goshen College. Our broadcasting program is just one of Goshen's 35 outstanding majors. At Goshen College, you will work one-on-one -on -one with top professionals and get studio time in your first semester. You can call a game from the playing field or broadcast from a downtown radio studio. How do I know Goshen was the best choice? Right after graduation, I'll start my new job as a radio morning show co-host. Take the next step in your broadcasting career. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. To my left, I'm with Lucas Bontrager, sophomore forward for the Goshen College men's soccer team. Lucas, thanks for being here today. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, as a sophomore, you know, you're kind of new to the program, but you've already had a year under your belt. What was your um, mindset coming into this second season? Because you do play a really large role in the men's soccer team. Are there specific things that you did this summer to prepare for your second season here? Mm -hmm. Well, my dad's a high school soccer coach, so he did a lot of one-on-one -on -one training with me to help me get ready for this season. So you probably had some extra opportunities to work with his high school players as well and uh, get some extra touches in, in that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I went to a couple of their practices they had this summer and worked out with them. It's definitely showed, you know, your last game and uh, against IU Northwest, you earned yourself a hat trick, scoring mm -hmm. three goals. Um, what was your, your mindset or mentality going into that game? Um, just try and score as many goals as possible and help our team get the win. And you're the only seven, you're, you're the 17th Maple Leaf to have done that so far. How does that feel to accomplish that so early on in your career with it only being your second season? Feels good. I just want to keep, keep it going up from here. 
Along with that, you're one of the top scorers in the Crossroads League, tied for third right now with six goals so far. What are your thoughts about achieving this uh, again so early on in the season? Uh, it feels, feels good, but I I'd, I'd want to focus on our team having a better record and getting ready for conference. Yeah, and going into conference play, your team has faced some adversity, losing a couple players uh, along the way. The first game, three of them out right mm -hmm. away. Um, but you guys have been doing well. You've won your last three games, and you're now three and four. What are you guys hoping to accomplish as you're moving into cro uh, conference play here soon? Um, just keep, keep that winning streak going right into conference that we have right now. Like you said, our last three games. And I feel like we started off the season really slow, and then we started uh, the last three games started to figure out like what our team needs to do to get wins. Yeah, well, thank you so much for being here with us today. Uh, when we come back, Zach Bailey will give you a look at your Maple Leafs in action this week. Goshen College, everyone's at home here. Students from around the world and down the street find inspiration and lifelong friends in our unique supportive community, right here in Northern Indiana. Cutting edge academics, real world learning, and small personalized classes make the difference. All surrounded by world-class culture and championship sports. Most importantly, it all leads to a record of amazing outcomes in diverse fields of study. From pre-med to social work, broadcasting to accounting, schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. Let's have a look at your Maple Leafs in action this week. The women's tennis team will be at home on Thursday as they face off against Olivet College starting at 4. Women's volleyball is in action this Friday as they square off against conference rival Bethel University at 7 p.m. The men and women's cross country team will be heading to Grand Rapids to compete in the GRCC Raider Invitational. The men will begin at 2 and the women will follow right after. And finally, women's soccer is at home this Saturday as they take on Indiana Tech and the team's second annual Go for the Goal match. Kickoff is set for 7.30. Thank you for tuning in to the Globe Sports Corner. Be sure to follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel at 91.1 The Globe, and check out our website at globeradio.org. We'll see you next time on the Globe Sports Corner.